This is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. We're here at the trade show today, and we're going to check out for any new products that have to do with uh, kitchen appliances that allow you to eat more fresh fruits and vegetables. So uh, come inside and let's check it out. We're going to check out some of the new products here at the Expo, and you know what? Here's one of them. We're at the Omega booth, and of course they have their standard, you know, juicers, the Omega Vert, the Omega 8006. But what's all new here is they have a whole new line of blenders. So they have some one horsepower blenders, but more importantly, they have a three peak horsepower blender. Now this is, once again, a first look. This is not yet available. They're not yet shipping these. This will probably be available maybe six months, I'm guessing. This is their new three horsepower model. Nice uh, square top carafe, uh, single propeller style blade. And uh, the controls are really nice and easy. They have a variable speed control knob, which is really good. A timer, now this is gonna be a high end blender. It's gonna the price is going to reflect that. It basically has an infinity, so you can basically run it forever. It has a pulse and an on and off. It's really going to be cool when it comes out. Once again, three peak horsepower. And you know what? I can't wait to get one of these units in my kitchen to test it out. And you know what? You'll be first to see the test results, and I'll be comparing it to the Vitamix as soon as I have one of the production models. All right, so let's check out another product that I've been waiting for a long time here at the Expo. There's some really cool developments that I'm learning about at the trade show, and that's why I come to these shows, to keep abreast and keep up to date with all the things happening in the industry, especially when it has to do with juicers and equipment that allow you to eat more fresh fruits and vegetables. So you can see I have a whole flat of wheatgrass, and what's behind me is revolutionary. You know, they've been promising this for many, many years, and they finally came out with it. So many people may know or may know or may not know that the champion juicer, as it comes, will not effectively juice wheatgrass. But what we are here today, we're at the champion uh, juicer booth, and you know what? The champion juicer can now juice wheatgrass with the wheatgrass or leafy green attachment. So we're going to check that out. That's really exciting. So this wheatgrass attachment is only going to work and work on your juicer because Champion has gone through and made this juicer for many, many years. It's only going to work if your juicer is made from 1988 to the present time. So if you have a juicer that's older than 88, sorry, this attachment is not going to work. Now this attachment is going to retail for $89.95. And basically, this attachment allows you to juice wheatgrass in the Champion. Let me go ahead and show you the parts. So I really like that this is BPA free. No BPA is used in the construction of the plastic. This plastic is actually the Eastman Triton. That's what they're using in the Vitamix blender crafts and the Blendtec blender crafts. You have an auger here. This auger is really heavy duty and it goes into this screen assembly. The screen assembly is all stainless steel. And the other thing, you know, once again, just like the Champion is made in the United States of America, this is also made in the good old USA. So support American companies by you know, buying the Champion and this wheatgrass attachment. So now let's show you how easy the Champion wheatgrass attachment or leafy green attachment is to assemble. You're gonna take the screen, push that all the way in, hold it with your thumb, and then you're gonna take the uh, end cap, which basically keeps pressure or the res restrict the uh, wheatgrass from coming out as fast, so you're gonna get a higher yield. You're basically just gonna take that and uh, put it in like this and turn it so that this is faced up. You're then gonna take the um, this piece put it on and what this piece does it basically diverts all the pulp to come out instead of shooting out at you real simple real easy so next all you're going to simply do is take this auger and push it on once again you have that keyway that needs to line up with easily is pushed on then you're going to take the the housing that you've already previously assembled push that in and turn it into place once again you also get a funnel really nice funnel and then you also get a pusher to push all the wheatgrass and all the leafy greens into the juicer Next, let's go ahead and show you how easy this is to use. So now we're going to juice wheatgrass in the Champion Juicer with the wheatgrass attachment. It's very simple and very easy. First thing, we're just going to go ahead and turn the Champion machine on. Now this is running at full speed, 1725 RPMs. This is the fastest wheatgrass juice in the West. Most wheatgrass juicers run at approximately 80 to 100 RPMs, so they run much slower. And there are pros and cons to that. The pro is that you know it's, they're usually fairly efficient the first time you put the wheatgrass through. The con is that, you know, as the wheatgrass winds up in the auger, there's usually some heat that's generated, which maybe is not so good. With the Champion, because it is running at full speed, it's not quite as efficient as getting all the juice out the first time through, but then you take the pulp and put it back through a second time. And also, this is really fast, so let's go ahead and uh, put some wheatgrass in there and show you. 
you're gonna take the weed grass and simply put it in and it look you just literally get sucked right into the machine and then it's pushed right out what you're left with is some basically some uh, chewed up wheatgrass and you know a lot of juices come out of this but then what you want to do is you want to take this and then put it through a second time once you put it through a second time you could watch this area of the uh, juicer and you can see literally there's some of the juice getting squeezed out the second time through once it comes out the second time it's much much drier now champion does not recommend putting it through a third time because what happens is this gets so dry it then just clogs up the machine it'll stop the machine so you don't want to put it through a third time just two times is quite enough the other thing about this attachment is that besides allowing you to juice wheatgrass, it'll allow you to juice the leafy greens. Now the Champion does okay with leafy greens, but with this one, it does a lot better. Now once again, you can even juice carrots and other things in with this attachment, but once again, this attachment is meant for leafy greens and wheatgrass, and it's gonna increase your yield on leafy greens and wheatgrass, but decrease your yield if you're trying to juice apples and carrots and other things, although it will juice it, that being said. Now, so if you want to juice those things, then just use your standard champion to juice those things. This, once again, only for the leafy greens and the wheatgrass. So if you want to juice wheatgrass and leafy greens with your champion, you can now buy this attachment that should be available approximately April 15th. So hopefully you've enjoyed this episode, learning more about the different products that are all brand new here at the Natural Products Expo West. Once again, this is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors.